kind of creep it up to the net and you have no idea what to expect. You know, the antenna says there's this many fish, but sometimes there's even more. And you show up and, you know, you kind of creep up and you push that button. And sometimes the net's quiet, but a lot of times it explodes. And, you know, you're focused on getting that net up and ready and the fish trapped. And it's always exciting when you walk around the net and there's carp pushing everywhere, there's carp jumping at you. It's, while well, working at night isn't always the most fun, it's always exciting when you have a bunch of fish in the net. So we show up at the nets and um, with our boats and we have sophisticated technology over the years to corral the fish up to the boat and now we can actually pull them in using cranes. And so these cranes do a lot of our actual heavy lifting and dump the fish into the boat. There's some pretty impressive experiences. We had one net with 1,900 fish in it this year and literally all the water inside the net turned white. It's very impressive to see fairly large carp just tossed into a boat like minnows out of a bait bucket or something. And then we actually take the boats back to shore and um, we use, uh, in some circumstances, we can use conveyors to actually get these fish onto our trailers and other times we, you know, actually move them by hand, but they're euthanized and all these fish are, you know, loaded into trucks and trailers to be moved away. Really our goal is to develop new technologies for carp management because we think that while there's been a lot of science done on invasive fish and the effects they have on ecosystems, what we think is really missing is the uh, sort of the high-tech tools that could be used for invasive fish and carp management. They are targeting specific elements of the life history of the fish, of the carp, the common carp. So for example, when the carp are migrating in the spring to spawn, we've developed a system where we have this electric fence in the water that guides them into a trap. And then we have a conveyor in the water that gets them out of the stream. So that's a really nice sort of automated system. Then another big one that we've developed is nets that you can set near shore and uh, you can remove carp very selectively with bait. If you put food in the water, it takes them about three to four days to figure out where it is. And then they remember that site and they keep coming back to it. And on top of that, they eat things that native fish don't eat, like grains, corn, for example. So you can use a really simple bait like cracked corn and you put it in one spot and you know, the carp come to it and they, they learn that it's there and, and, and they show up in, in large numbers and the native fish don't. So you can attract them selectively. And we actually put an antenna around the bait and the antenna can scan whenever the carp show up to feed. And we know that because before we start the whole process, we, we insert a couple hundred carp in the lake with those tiny little microchips, like using pets. And we release those fish, so whenever they come to feed, they cross over the antenna. The antenna detects them, and it sends that signal to a computer that sits on shore. And that computer then sends to a website, so you can actually be at your, uh, you know, be at home and check your computer, and you can see how many fish and which ones are showing up at the bait. And that's extremely useful because uh, the carp have daily feeding pattern. So they're not at the bait all the time. They show up, stay for a few hours and go. So you need to be able to tell when they are at the bait remotely. We built those nets so they can go out with a key fob, like a remote controller like this, and press the button, and the sides of the net come up and the carp are caught inside. The nets are fairly easy to set up, they're not too large. So if you're a homeowner, you live on a lake, you could have your own personal carp net that we set up by your dock. And then you can monitor the behavior of the fish from your living room, you know, on your computer. And then when the fish show up, you go on your dock, you press the button, and the fish are caught inside the net, and then we show up to remove them. You know, invasive fish and carp management is not easy. It's very labor intensive and it, it tends to be expensive. So we're all about involving people and volunteers and people who live on lakes as much as possible and giving them meaningful tools that can really make a difference and make them part of the solution, so to speak.